It's named the Black Hornet and it could have come straight out of the computer game Call of Duty. However, this is a real piece of kit that could save the lives of soldiers whilst here in Helmand. Well, it looks like a toy that I might buy my nephew for Christmas, but in fact, this is new technology that British troops have been using out on the ground since last year. It's extremely light and weighs only 16 grams, about the same as this pair of sunglasses. And inside there's a tiny camera, a motor and a battery that allows it to fly. Okay, so we've just stopped on our patrol and we just stopped uh, with a safe distance away from this company you see behind me. And I'm just going to get uh, the black on it up to give us some early situation awareness of what's in the compound itself. This cutting-edge technology has been developed by a Norwegian company and within minutes the Black Hornet can be up and running. Right, it's calibrated, it's got its GPS fix and I'm just simply just now going to launch it. The camera on the helicopter relays motion video footage of the compound onto the handheld computer. It gives the user grid coordinates, the battery life, the height of the device off the ground and the current wind strength. It can also take still photos. Um, I think it's, it's a really good bit of kit. It's um, nice and light. Uh, like you saw, it's just, it comes in, in what you see here. It's just um, it's 1.5 kilograms complete. It's really light. Uh, and uh, the only thing with that, when it's, when it's windy, it can be affected by wind. So you need to uh, put that in your judgment before you even uh, launch. But this new capability isn't cheap. 160 of them have been delivered to UK troops, costing £20 million. It's money well spent, though, if it's going to prevent soldiers being pinned down by enemy fire. Once it starts to warm up, then you wait for the rel. When it rels, the back propeller then start rotating, and at which point then you can clear to release the black hornet. It is affected by the weather due to the size of the Black Hornet. There, the wind is the biggest problem. The fact that a, a good gust of wind will then send the Black Hornet off. However, it's got a number of countermeasures. I can press home and the Hornet will automatically turn around and come back to the base location. You get 20 minutes flight time on it. So from you sending the Black Hornet up, you've got 20 minutes in the air. However, you get two Black Hornets per station. So when that Black Hornet's going down after, say, 15 minutes, you need to bring it back and you're not quite happy with what was in the compound or what was on the vulnerable point, yet yeah, straight away you bring that black, up, black hornet home, you then reprogram the next black hornet within a minute, get it up and send it back out in the same location. Although a piece of I-Star capability, this helicopter is so small that it's not classified as an aircraft, which allows the flight commander on the ground to use it at a moment's notice without going through a chain of command. It's also small enough to not be an insurgent target. It's very quiet. I mean, when it goes up, as soon as it's about five or ten metres away, I can barely see it myself. Um, and the rotors are silent pretty much, so they'll, they'll have no idea that it's hovering over them at about 20 metres or whatever. Once the job's done, it can be packed away, the batteries will be recharged, and it's ready for its next mission. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Camp Bastion.